What's up you all, my name is iCapture and today we are going to create a gunfire effect, something like this. Well, basically, I want to teach you about this gunfire effect. I haven't done this before in my entire life. If you check my previous video, I have never done something like this on my Instagram. I haven't done this before. So I try, I'm try. i trying to guess this effect because I will be shooting more videos do which requires the gunfire effect and I need to create some action series. I have been watching some YouTube tutorials on how to create a gunfire effect, how to hold the gun, how to do this one, how to do that one, but I'm so tired. Of watching those videos continuously I want to create my own regardless of if I know what I'm doing or I don't even know what I'm doing right now so I decided and I, I I choose to dare myself to create that gunfire effect and fortunately I did it it was great and I want you to join me as I create this effect I mean <laughs> you and I beginners of course whether you are you're a professional whatever it is and you haven't gotten that gun effect how about we join together and create something like this together let me show you how I created mine. Alright, first of all, we need to shoot, I mean, an epic, I mean, they call it epic, some call it cinematic, whatever we call it, or some people even say it's a bureau. I mean, it's a bureau, right? Yeah. <laughs> some people say it's a bureau. So, um, that can be a bureau. What a cinematic, epic, whatever it is, we just need to create something. We just need to create something dynamic, something beautiful. Exactly. So, we head into the field and we decided to create something. Me and my PA we decided to create something amazing exactly. Her name is Lopez. If you haven't followed her on Instagram, her name is official Lopez. Follow her and check out. I mean, you see an amazing work, definitely, of course. Just check it out, follow her, say hi, say oh, I saw your video. Say something nice. I mean, alright, so um let me let me put you through on how we shot this video. First of all, it was a tiring event, of course, and me. The, oh, we, we, never, we never prepared for this, so we just decided, oh, can we just try and create something like this and see how beautiful it gets to And you're like, oh no, uh, I, can't, I don't know how, how I can carry it going. I mean, it's quite... So we decided to do something. I mean, we created, of course, you can see where the parts where she's running around and it was beginning to look very awkward at this time. And it was pouring my head already. And finally, we got a POV shot. We got a close-up shot. We got a wide angle, not semi-wide angle, of course. So we got something beautiful that we needed to use. And now, after the old shooting, it's now time for editing. I mean, who wouldn't say the editing is so difficult itself? I mean, getting to that post-production and your brain is calculating what next to put what am I supposed to do next I mean the first thing I had to do is I searched through YouTube the gunfire effect I mean the green screen gunfire so what I did was I got a green screen videos and which works very nice I mean I got two different two different positions which is the front layer and the side layer effect which made sense which makes it more classic itself of course I can fire like this papa and I'm showing the front view of the fire gun so uh, like it was so until I fire like this I show the front view of the fire gun or what's it called the muzzle whatever they call it so so this comes on the side view and this comes on the front view now it's time for us to track the gun position wherever the gun goes we need to track the muzzle effect with the gun it's quite difficult and quite tiring I mean you need to get this process because this process is one of the best and that is what is going to make your footage look as real as possible itself I mean it's definitely gonna look real, except you wanna have a fake gun. I, mean, I never had a real gun, it's, a, it's just a toy gun. So you need a gun, a toy gun, whatever it is, painted black, give, give it this kind of metallic look. I mean, give it this kind of Warcraft look. I mean, it's gonna make it look more real. Now, back to the editing workspace. It's a, we track up the gun, every movement it goes, it's time for us to have a smoke effect. We have a smoke effect, see, track down the same smoke effect, and we come back. Every gun fired, there should be a reflection on the body itself. So you need to get that reflection on her face, on any subject or any object or whatever it is. You definitely need to get a reflection to that place. As the gun fires, 
the fire that comes out has to reflect to her face to make this and everything look so real. So what I do there is I go to Lumetric Color and I max out the part where I want that reflection to happen. So I increase the exposure, maybe increase um, my temperature to the um, warm with the warmness itself. Of course, the muzzle is warm, so I need to increase that temperature to the warmness itself. I need to color grade the muzzle effect to match with the scene itself because I can't have the muzzle effect showing so saturated or should I say very sharper than the image itself so I have to color grade so much with the image itself now this had to make it look more real now the next thing I had to do is I needed a sound design because uh, there are several sounds you can download from the YouTube um, audio library or from the YouTube so just search for that not copyright hearted so um, now I got a sound itself it's now to attach that sound to the effect itself so when it gallon goes po you need to follow up the sound that goes po not for it goes and you're making a sound that goes po po. <laughs> this is this is quite fun. I mean, you need to learn the sound design itself, all matched together, color graded the footage, color graded the uh, muzzle, and everything is looking very flat. Uh, you tell me, what do you think? I'm daring you out there to go out there create your own gunfire effect after watching this video I mean, Now you know how to create a gunfire effect without creating something very very funny Exactly, so now you know how to create it. How about you hit the subscribe button, turn up your notification and Leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this video. I'll see you some other time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace